Hey guys, so I'm going to be filming part two of my January favorites, and this is basically just going to, just going to include just anything that isn't makeup, so yeah, so let's go ahead and get, it, get into it. Warning, probably another 20 minute long video because I just ramble about everything, but yeah, so let's go ahead and get into it. So the first thing I have is a cleanser, and this is the Clean and Clear Morning Burst Fruit Infusion Smoothing Facial Scrub, and this is oil-free, so it's so cute. It's just, like, purple and stuff, but yeah, so this is what it looks like, and I actually got this for Christmas with, like, a Clean and Clear set, so yeah, I really, really like it. Um, You guys know I used to use the Neutrogena, ne ugh, Neutrogena one, which I still do use that one. Um, I just use it in the shower and this is basically like my night scrub. So I, I really, really been liking this and ugh, it smells so good guys. Mm, it smells so fruity and yeah, I just love it. So I really, really like it. It definitely does just refresh my face, cleans my face. Um, it doesn't really like help with acne, but it does, um, reveal soft and smooth skin. So I really been liking that. Um, next I, no. <laughs> Um, next I have, I don't even know how to say that brand, but that's the brand. Um, and this is the Hydrating Eye Cream. So that's what it looks like. And, um, basically you just put it on your eyelid. Again, this is kind of just part of my night routine. So I just put this on before I go to bed. And I love it, guys. This sounds so weird. But, like, it moisturizes the skin that's on your eyelid. So, yeah. But I really, really been liking this. It definitely just hydrates that skin that's up there. Because usually when you moisturize your face, you just... Moisturize your face, you never, like, moisturize your eyelid. <laughs> that sounds weird. Um, but, yeah, so this is just a really, really nice hydrating eye cream. I definitely recommend it. You can I actually got this at the dollar store, which I was hesitating at first. I'm like, for my eyes, from the dollar store, I'm like, I don't know about that. But I'm so glad I did get it because, to me, this is, like, high quality, high end, and I just, I really, really like it. So definitely check that out. Um, next I have the Yes to Great Food Correcting and Repair Brightening Facial Palettes. And I was trying to find the Yes to Cucumber ones, but I only found these, but that's okay. Um, because I heard these were pretty good too. So, oh, you guys, it smells so good. It doesn't smell like grapefruit, but it smells like, w when you peel it orange, that's what it smells like. It smells so good. I love it. But yeah, so I've really been liking these, and I don't use my Neutrogena ones anymore. I'm going to start using these because these are just amazing. They're way better than the Neutrogena ones because the Neutrogena ones, they didn't really, like, they did get off my makeup, but it was really hard to get, like, off my eye makeup, like, my eyeliner and stuff. And then I just had to keep scrubbing and scrubbing to get it off. And then afterwards, my eyes were really irritated from that. So with these, it just comes off so easily, super fast, and... I just love these guys, so it it just it just gives my, it get gets my makeup off really easy and fast. I mean, you just really just have to swipe it even with your eyeliner, and it's gone. So I just really been liking these. It gets off gets off my makeup really just way easier. So I've been loving those, and I'm definitely gonna start buying those from now on. All right, now I have two hair products. The first one I have is the Suave Dry Shampoo Spray. So that's what it looks like, and um, I used to use the Tresemme one. I probably told you guys like a hundred times that it always stopped spraying. It just stopped working. And I I think everyone has that problem with the Tresemme one because I just hear so many so many people complain about that. But with this one, it's just, it's awesome. <laughs> so I got tired of using the Tresemme one. So I decided to get this one because I heard it was pretty good. So, so far I really, really like it and it smells so freaking good. Mm, it smells like fruits, and I just love it, guys. It has no problem at all getting out. It actually sprays out a lot, so I really, really like it, and ugh, it's it's just amazing. I really like the finish it gives my hair. It just makes it really soft and smooth and really shiny after you use it, so I've really been liking that. So if you're in need of a good dry shampoo, definitely check out this one. Um, next, I have the Tresemme Leave-In Conditioning Spray, and um, I just... I just decided to try this, um, so it, I guess it's like, well it's a conditioning spray, so I, I use it to help me get out my tangles, which I think, it doesn't like completely get them out, but I think it does help than just using just your regular hair without putting anything in your hair, 
So I think it definitely does help just make it a lot easier to kind of work with it. And also I really, really like the finish it gives my hair. It just leaves this really nice smooth and sleek finish. So I've really, really been enjoying that. Um, now I actually have two perfumes. The first one I have is the T-Swift perfume. No, totally lying. Um, this is, I got this at Kato and this is their impression of the Taylor Swift perfume. Instead of Wonderstruck, it's called Wonderful. So yeah, it's really similar packaging, but honestly you guys, it smells exactly, ex exactly like the Taylor Swift perfume. It just smells so good. It really does smell like the Taylor Swift perfume. So definitely check this out if you have a Kato around you because it's it's it smells exactly like the Taylor Swift perfume. Well, not exactly, but it smells similar, really similar to it. So I think this is your best like dupe, I guess you could call it for the Taylor Swift perfume. It just smells mm, smells delicious. So I've been loving that. Um, next I have is actually a Rollerball, and this is their impression of the Viola Juicy one. Instead, it's called La Vida Loca. So that's what it looks like. And ugh, as you can tell, I really haven't been using that much of it. But I just kind of wear this on more like fancier occasions and stuff like that. So it just smells so freaking good. Honestly, I think this one does smell similar to the Viola Juicy one. It just smells so good. It's a really nice, fruity, fresh scent. And ugh, I just love it. It's really fruity. And I just, I, I just love this, guys. <laughs> so. I've been loving those two perfumes. Um, next, I actually have a body splash, and this is by Pink by Victoria's Secret. And this one is in Warm and Cozy, and you guys have probably heard so many freaking awesome things about it. It's the one with the red cap, and oh, I just I just love it, guys. Mm, so good. It's really perfect for the wintertime, warm and cozy, obviously, but oh, I just love it. I also think it'll make, make like a nice summer scent. I don't know why, but mm, it just smells so good, and I love it. And I use this a lot, and it just... These last me so freaking long. That's why I never really buy the full size. Because these just last me like forever, guys. So I really, really like these. And these are only $8. So super inexpensive. And at least for me, they last just forever. So uh, oh, it just smells so good, guys. So yeah, that's my favorite body slash at the moment. Um, and next, I have two necklaces. Well, actually, just like these type of necklaces. First one I'm actually wearing is just like a long statement piece necklace. And it's just... A little studded cross and I really really like this one this one's from forever 21 actually all of them are from forever 21 um, and the next one I have it's also just on a shorter chain I guess but it ha it's a little out and it's so cute and I love it and then also this one's probably my favorite one because um, it just it just goes with everything and it is also on a long gold chain it actually has like two chains like it has this like more design one and then just a regular one so I really really like that and it's just on a super long chain and then that's what it is guys don't ask me what it is I have no idea my friends are always like oh my gosh I love your necklace what is it I'm like I don't know <laughs> um, but I just call it like a spike because that's what it looks like to me and also people call it a shark tooth Eh, shark tooth whatever you want to call it I just call it like one spike and it's super cute and I love it I've just been really liking long statement piece necklaces I just think they go with everything and I've been wearing this one the most because this one looks really really pretty against like a cream shirt and I just love it so much so I've been loving just really long statement piece necklaces I think they're super cute alright so I think that's actually all my beauty stuff now and just to like some random stuff so the first thing I have is actually a pair of shoes and bam moccasins guys I have been obsessed with my moccasins I really really like these these are probably my most worn ones like I have a few like really sparkly ones but I just wear these a lot since they're just really casual they go with everything and I love them so I got these at JCPenney's they're the brand Arizona and super inexpensive they were only like $15 so I love them and I also like how they have like little blue bow around them super super cute and I just love these guys um they're just so comfortable and I love them I'm getting out of breath again because I'm talking super fast but yeah but I just really like them they're super super comfortable and I just I just love them guys so I've been definitely lo loving my moccasins um next I have a purse and you guys can probably probably guess this and yes you guys this purse I just I just love it guys it's awesome so uh, again I'm not currently 
using this purse. I'm using my other newer one that I just got, but this has been my statement piece purse for the whole month because I used it through most of the month. But yeah, it just has two handles, and I did do a What's in My Purse video, so check that out if you want to hear just more about it, and I just really like it. It has studs, and then also studs on the side. Super, super cute. I love it, and it also has a long strap, but definitely check out my What's in My Purse video if you want to see more about it. And also, to go along with that, I've been loving this wallet. Again, I'm not currently using this wallet, just because I have a, I'm using a smaller purse now, but... I love this, guys. Um, it's just, I, I don't know. I just love this wallet. I got it at Target. It was on clearance for $10, but they marked it down even further to 6 So definitely, if you like it, try to get your hands on it. So it's just your basic, like, black um, wallet, and then it has, like, a little thing in the middle, and it's a zipper wallet, and then just, like, all your compartments and stuff. i really, really been wanting a zipper wallet that just opens like that. So this has just been my perfect wallet. Wallet, wallet, wallet. Um, I just been loving it so much, and I just it's an awesome wallet, guys. So love that. I think I'm gonna switch back to this purse tonight because the other one I have is like a little bit too small. And during the winter time, I just carry tons of stuff with me just because like I'm carrying always lotions and just different stuff like that. Since it's winter time, but maybe during the summer when I usually just carry my wallet and my sunglasses and my phone and I'm good. But yeah, but I'll probably switch back to that later. So yeah, um, next I have a book and this is kind of weird. Um, it's called Uglies by Scott Winsterfield and this is actually my school book. So yeah, that's what it looks like. And oh, you guys, this is an awesome book. Like I love it. I also have a little mouse bookmark, but yeah, I'm halfway through it. I'm not that big of a reader, guys, so I probably had, I had this before winter break, but I'm still not done with it, because like I said, I'm not that big of a reader, guys, but yeah, but it's a really, really good book. I'm actually really liking it. It's, this is the first book. There's, there's three books in the series. This is the first one, so I still have two more to read. Um, the other one, the second one's called, like, Pretties, and I'm not for sure what the third one's called. Um, but Uglies is basically, it's really weird, the setting. Like, there's Uglies, and then there's New Pretty Town, so it's just, like, Pretties and Uglies, which is really weird. Um, but yeah, it's a really, really good book, and I've just been loving it so much, and it's just, it's just an awesome book, guys. Just read it. I know it sounds really weird, but it's a really, really good book, so I've been loving that. Next, I have, it's kind of random, but it's been this journal. I love it, guys. So, of course, it has just a really, really cute pattern on it. I'm not for sure where I got this, so don't ask. Um, but probably, like, at Target or Walmart or something like that. But this is my exercise journal for 2013. And my resolution was to just start to exercise more because I'm not that big of an exerciser, guys. But I just, I need to start to exercise more I, I I'm getting older I just need to work out I just need to get healthier and I just I don't know but honestly it's not like I like having it but I haven't exercised since January 12th so I'm not a big exerciser guys but I just kind of do like stretches push-ups sit-ups just your basic things because I can't like join a gym because apparently I'm too young for that but yeah but I really, really like it. If I had a dog, I would walk my dog, too, but I don't have a dog. But, yeah, I'm a cat person, but I like dogs, too, guys. Don't get me wrong. I love all animals, but, yeah. Anyway, so, I just really like this. Um, I need to start exercising again, but I will start exercising probably tomorrow, maybe. I don't know, but I do need to start again. But I just really like having this with me, just kind of keep healthier, guys, because I just need to. Okay, enough of that, but I've been loving having that. Alright, now to the last part is my favorite songs of the month. So, my phone, guys. And don't ask me what it is because everyone's like, oh, that's so cute. What is it? Again, like, the same thing with my necklace. So, it's just random. That's supposed to be a flower, though. Just, like, random design, whatever. I think I'm going to take these off and put, like, my zebra case back on, though. But, yeah. So, my favorite songs of the month are probably similar from last month. But the first one I have is Diamonds by Rihanna. Love that song. Um, Pound the Alarm by Nicki Minaj. Va Va Voom, Nicki Minaj. Hello by Carmen. Work Hard, Play Hard, Wiz Khalifa. And the Lazy Song from Bruno Mars. Yeah, so those are my favorite songs of the month. I love them. And also, 
I have been, I actually just bought it yesterday. I literally bought four albums yesterday on iTunes, and I just love them. And you guys can probably guess the first one, the new J JB album. Ugh, I don't know how to say it. Is it an acoustic album? I don't, I don't know, but this new album that just came out like a few days ago. Um, so, oh my gosh, I love it so much. His voice is just, you... I just love it. Like there's slow songs, but I just I just love it. You really get to hear his voice in it and he just has an awesome voice and I just love it, guys. It's awesome. My favorite one is probably As Long As You Love Me cuz it just I don't know. I love it. <laughs> um so yeah, I really been liking that album even though I just got it yesterday. But I love that. And also, I've been loving the song Gold by Brit Nicole. Um sometimes it comes on like on Teen Nick like when they show music videos and stuff. So that's where I first heard it, and I'm like, hey, that's a pretty good song. So I'm like, right, I'm going to check that out. So, yeah, I got that, and I also bought the Hello, My Name is Bridget Mendler CD, and I love that one. Um, and also Kiss by Carly Rae Jepsen, and also the new Kesha Warrior CD. But um, i really been liking the new Justin Bieber CD, but I just wanted to let you guys know, like, the songs, I, the albums I downloaded and stuff. But yeah, but I've been obsessed with the new Justin Bieber album. Even though I just got it yesterday, guys, you can still be obsessed with it. Which I am. But yeah, and also I have a favorite TV show to talk to you guys about. Um, and that is Criminal Minds. I am obsessed with that show, you guys. It kind of, it just makes my skin crawl. But it's so interesting. Like, I love it. It's awesome. Um, it's basically just like... FBI and basically like CSI um but I just love it you guys it just like all these criminals doing just crazy things that you would never think would happen but you you guys just need to watch it it's awesome let me know if you guys watch that show um let me know what you think about it because I just love that show you guys I'm obsessed with it I watch it I don't know what days it comes on I just kind of watch it whenever it comes on I'm like always checking every day it doesn't come on every day but I'm just always checking every day and see if it's on because I love that show. It just kind of makes my skin crawl though because it just kind of shows like really creepy things. But I love it. It's super, super interesting. You just get into it like, I, I, I don't know. I just, I just love it. Um, so yeah, I love that show. Definitely, definitely check it out because it's pretty awesome. Um, next, I think that's it. Oh, I actually have an app and that is Temple Run two yeah i didn't even know they have a, had a temple run too but then my sister told me but it's actually free she thought they you had to pay for it but there it is temple run two yeah um but no it's free so definitely get it um if you haven't yet because oh my gosh you guys like i thought temple run was awesome but temple run two is just like 10 times awesomer it's just so different you actually get to go on like swing ropes and stuff like that and you go like over like this spinny thing and it's just awesome you guys it's definitely really harder though than the original but i really really like it and i, I just been playing it since i got it which i'm not for sure when i got it but i i don't know but i've just been loving temple run and it's awesome and yeah so that is actually oh wait one more thing um i actually have this pair of jeans but i'm I can't like I don't have them with me though but they are by from forever 21 they're forever 21 jeans they're just your basic plain jeans I think they're in the dirty clothes that's why I didn't get them for you guys but they're from forever 21 and just your just your basic jeans but they are so freaking comfortable guys like I'm obsessed with them they are just the comfortablest jeans I want to go back and get like five pairs of them they're just so comfortable I love them and they're just my favorite jeans ever because they're just so, so comfortable. Like, they feel like you're wearing leggings or something. They're kind of like jeggings. I don't know, but they're they're pretty comfortable. So, yeah, but that is my whole January favorites, guys. We made it. Sorry about the two 21-minute videos, guys. That's pretty crazy. But, yeah, I promise next time it'll just be one video. And it'll just be, like, hopefully a 10-minute long video. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. So sorry about splitting it into like two parts and so sorry of them being 20 minutes long. So yeah, but I hope you guys enjoyed them and I promise guys, I pinky promise next month will not be this bad. I just feel like all the brands came out with some awesome new products for the new year and I just, I had to try them all and I loved them all. So I wanted to share them with you guys. But yeah, so sorry it was so long and I hope you guys enjoyed this video though and thumbs it up if you liked it and Definitely if you did a January um, favorites video, leave it as a video response. If you don't make videos, then comment below and let me know what your favorite 
favorites were for January. So, and happy February. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I love you guys, and don't forget to subscribe if you're not, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.